Yo, what's drunk? Like everyone, seal background with another video. Today, we got a nice snake draft game between Jake from the Cobras versus Dundee's from the Milotics. Now, looking at Jake's team, he has a very standard offensive build. He has this nice Mian football as well. It'd be core with U turn on uh, what I would assume to be both of them to U turn in some threats like the, uh, the well, I was gonna say Volaby, this is a Wingle and the Abra and the potential trapping Diglett as well. Then he has some nice Ferris Seed spike support potentially. Uh, it definitely has the rocks on this because they don't really have another reliable rocker. I mean, Diglett does get stealth rocks, but you don't want. Diglett being your only rocker, obviously. On Dundee's side, he has a bit more a bit more of a creative team, I guess. Uh, I guess you could say it like that. This man's rocking the Trapinch Doduo offensive core. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, he's just rocking a Doduo. He has uh, Mian Football as well to give U-turn support into his Trapper as well, which is pretty nice. Then the Tatuga is going to be the rocker because he doesn't have another rocker on his team. And then the Ghastly is what I assume to be something like a Z-Move variant or Life Orb or some offensive variant because, uh, I mean, it could also be... It could also be something else, like the the Dodo is either Scarf or Barrier Juice, those are the two most common sets. Obviously, it could be something wild like Bandit, but you don't really see that a lot. And, uh, yeah, it's most likely going to be Scarf, and then this could be, like, Z-Move. This could also be Scarf, and then this could be, like, Barrier Juice. Like, there's some, there's some definitely some variation to be had here. So, let's just dive right into this game. Uh, the lead should be coming out any, any time now. But looking at this, my man Wingo looking pretty scary, actually, especially if it's Water Z and he can break past this Tortuga. Then on the other side, Dodo is actually looking very scary as well, especially if it is Scarf. I mean, both Scarf and Barry just look pretty scary. Scarf looks scary because it can outspeed Abra and Wingo. And, um... Barry just looks scary because it doesn't really care too much about Ferris chipping it down. And it doesn't really care too much about getting chipped down in general. So, both looking pretty scary. Now, it's going to be a double lead right here. Jay can never stay in here. Like, there's no way you just risk your wing go turn one to a potential Scarf Dodo. I think you just switch out to... I guess that's Ferris. You can go to Ferris to pivot out here. And uh, if you're Dundies, I think you just attack here because... Even if you're not Scarf, there's no way Jake stays in here, unless he is Scarf Wingle. But why would he be Scarf Wingle on a team with the Abra, with a potential Focus Ash as a failsafe, and a Diglett, which could be could be either a Scarf Diglett, or it could just be a regular Diglett, which outspeeds the entire unboosted metagame outside of Allocate anyway. So, like, his team is already pretty fast, especially if he has weak armor, Volibee as well, to give some more speed control. So, Dunnies actually switches out, which is a play I disagree with, and he switches out into Tatuga, basically revealing that he's not Scarf. I mean, obviously, it is not confirmed yet, and Jake shouldn't really go around risking his Wingle to Dodua. It's not confirmed at all, uh, and this puts him in a bad spot as well, because he, he can't really stay in with his Tatuga here, because... Uh, if he if he like stays in and just gets smacked up, he gets knocked off or he gets like bullet seated on, which is gonna do a shit ton as well, even through solid rock. Like you don't really you don't really want that because ooh, who gets hit with the bullet seed and we see a nice LC roll. So uh, this is why people don't like LC because like this is a roll apparently. Like that's just some complete bullshit. So he goes for the knockoff right here, but he just sacked Tortuga, which don't know if I don't know if I agree with that. Um, Jay got lucky right there. He got the roll and he got four hits, so that's pretty lucky. And they traded rocks right here. I guess that is pretty nice for Dundee's, like, uh, against his, against Jake's Wingle. But Wingle is looking like a huge threat. If it is Fly Z, it can just grab the kill every time it hits Fly Z. Uh, which is obviously only once, but once it does decide to hit Fly Z, it just claims a kill for free. Which is pretty scary against Dundee's team. There's nothing you can do to prevent that outside of just outspeeding it, I guess. Now Dundee's can switch out into his Mianfu, which uh, can just toss over. He can just toss open a high jump kick right here with his Mianfu. I don't really know what else he can go at into, like, he doesn't really want to go into Doduo, even if the uh, jump kick does kill, which I'm not too sure if it does, but even if he has jump kick, I mean, obviously he has jump kick, but even if he goes for the jump kick and it does kill, I don't know if you want to take this rocks, I don't know if you want to take that rocks plus iron bar just damage, um, plus a potential chance to miss that, obviously, and just lose your Doduo, uh, if you go Mianfu and hit high jump kick, you have the same chance to miss. I guess. I guess you can go to Ghastly as well if that has a that has a move that can one shot this like HP fire or a potential Z move. That could work, but I don't know. I think Mianfu is just the best play here. Mianfu just come out. Now, if this is Reckless, this is going to be a huge, huge threat because it just claims one here. If it's Scarf Reckless, like, uh, we already saw that the Dodo is probably not Scarf because it switched out from the Wingo. So, this is probably going to be Scarf Reck... Uh, I mean, it's not going to be probably going to be Scarf Reckless, obviously, but it definitely could be Scarf. And if it is Reckless, it can just toss over a high jump kick right here, and it's going to claim one. Like, look at Jake's team. No answers to... Um, to this at all very weak to this although it's not that common the scarf reckless but it's yeah it's not that common but jake's team is very weak to it because it's an offensive build so he could just throw out his pharisee right here it doesn't really do too much outside of chipping down the uh doduo but yeah i guess you could toss out some other mon as well like daily is looking mighty useless i guess he could toss that out but yeah i don't know if tossing that i mean i guess he could toss daily out because it's not looking too useful although if it is scarf it can just keep some things in check 
maybe a revenge killer Pokemon that's low. Like Diglett's always nice to have, and if it's ground EMZ, it's it's it might even be a bit nicer to have to revenge kill like a uh, Mianfu or Japinch. But Dundee doesn't have a lot of Pokemon that get trapped, and like the Pokemon that do uh, that are grounded and do get trapped are like not things that you just immediately trap with Diglett. So he does decide to sack off his Pharisee, the high jump kick, not wanting to risk either Volibee or Wingle, which would be able to slurp up a regular hit, but. Um, like, Volibee can't, can't return the kill back onto Mianfu. And now Jake just goes hard out into this big boy Wingle over here. And I think he just hits Fly Z because I'm not sure if Hurricane actually one-shots if this Mianfu is a vile. I think Fly Z is just a play here. You guarantee your kill. And if Dundee stays in, you just snatch up your kill. If this is Scarf Reckless, um, <laughs> this is a bit of an L for the boys, actually. Because this Wingle is probably going to topple over. I'm not sure if this is just me had calking. It might have a chance to live, but... I know, all I know is Wingle has shit defense. And Scarf Reckless Mianfu hits so, so hard. So, yeah, like, if it is if it is that set, it's just going to nail this Wingle, but it's not that common. So, Jake, I mean, if Jake really wants to scout for it, he hits Protect here, but I think Fly Z is just a better play to play a bit more offensively. Obviously, Donnie doesn't have a lot of Pokemon that, like, outspeed this. Uh, he has a potential Scarfer in Ghastly or Doduo, but I don't think he would throw those out there. I think he would throw out, like, what would he actually throw out? I'm actually not too sure what he would toss out. Maybe the Volibee? Um... Yeah, looking at it, though, he could toss out the Volibee, or he could toss out, like, Ghastly, maybe? Ghastly doesn't do too, too much this game. I mean, if it's Scarf, it can outspeed a, uh, the lot of Jake's team, but if it's not, it doesn't really do too much. I guess he tosses out one of those two, so I guess he don't necessarily need to hit Flyzy immediately. I guess you could protect if you want to scout for the uh, Scarf, but I don't know. I think just think Flyzy is the better play offensively. Just because it just guarantees you that kill, you know, like, this is going to be a very fast-paced offensive game. You can already tell from the teams. So, you do just want to, if, they're like, there's a free, free kill. Uh, this is, this is assuming it is Z. If it's, like, barrage or something, you just toss over a, toss over, toss up a regular Hurricane. So, the Volibee does get sent out and just drops with Sky Strike. So, yeah, this is the Z move user. So, that's wild. I guess the Dayla is Scarf then. It could also be Life Orb or some other set, but Scarf is the most common. And I guess it would make a bit of sense. So now this Dodo just comes in and can just scare this uh, thing out. Jay could just go out into either Diglett, which doesn't look too useful. Or, I guess, Mianfu, which not looking... I mean, Mianfu actually has a bit of use. Uh, Diglett is not looking too useful, so I guess he can throw that out. Then, he doesn't really have a switch in it. He could go Diglett into Abra, I guess. Um, but if he doesn't have Protect, that can get a bit nasty. Because if he does have Protect on the Abra, he can at least Protect on the Mianfu's potential Fake Out, if that's not Scarf. And if it is... Hmm. Yeah, like if this is Scarf, Demian, who's obviously not Scarf, as Dundee. Oh, oh, Dundee's just got molested. All right, so this is over. <laughs> this is over like the snow over. Um, Jake does not care. This man actually like has negative, like negative fucks given. He's like, all right, you're not Scarf. You switched out on me turn one. There is no way you are Scarf. If you're Scarf, you would have clicked Braver there. This is why I disagree with that play that Dundee's made turn one. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily call it a choke, but it's just a play I disagree with. As Jake can just toss up a protect here. Assuming this Mianfu is Scarf, he can just scout what it locks himself into, which is Rock Slide. So he can just go out into Mianfu or Diglett here on the Rock Slide. No reason to stay in or make some like wild play. The Ghastly comes in. If the Diglett comes in, that's great for Jake. Yup. So if this has Pursuit, he can Trapulate this. If it doesn't, yup. As he as Dundee's even uh, switches out, so he just gets Trapulated. And this, yeah, this, like I already said, this is over. But this is like it's super over at this point. So really fast game, really fast paced game as well. Obviously, uh, if you look at those teams, you would already tell it is a very fast-paced game. Like, look at <laughs> look at these defensive boys. They do not exist. Like, it's just mono offense. But, yeah, Jake just pummeled Dundee's here, I guess. Um, overall, I think it kind of went wrong when Dundee stacked the Tatuga, but he didn't really have another good play, I guess. He didn't really have the best plays around Pharisee, but I definitely disagree with stacking Tortuga. And I disagree with switching out turn one as well, just because... I guess, like, you, you don't want to risk your Doduo, but there's no way Jake would risk his Wingle. Like, looking look at what Wingle does to Dundee's team, especially if the Tortuga gets weakened or knocked off. Like, Tortuga doesn't really want to switch into Skull then, like, especially if it's Z-Move. Like, it, it, like, if it was Water Z Wingle, it could have even blown past the Tortuga with the Water Z, potentially, if it was weakened. So, I don't know. I disagree with, um, like, I, I disagree with the play staying in. I disagree, I disagree with not staying in turn 1 because there's no way Jake would have risked this. But yeah, that was my essay <laughs> on uh, why that was a, the incorrect play. I mean, I can't say too. Like, it's it's obvious, like, you did, you just didn't want to risk Dodua looking at what it does to Jake's team. So, even if it was Bear Juice or whatever that was. So, now this uh, Volibee is going to be cleaning up. But yeah, like I said a few turns ago, this game is already over. Like, there's no way Jake could have lost this uh, in the end there. So, 
So this was a tossing. <laughs> this was just a beat down. I guess I hope you guys enjoyed. Like this was like well played by Jake, well read. Uh, this was like breaking through the facade, breaking through the bluff. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Sub to Doctor, sub to my channel. Although I'd never upload. Uh, let's see. Does Doc show like standings or something? Let me skip through this. Nope, he doesn't because he is a lazy and uncling. So hope you guys enjoy your day. Slurp on some uncles and eat eat a child. Whatever.